Hi, it's David from Life with Parkinson's, and thank you for tuning in to my first update with my Rouge Pro G3 red light. I'm very excited to be doing this collaboration project with Rouge Care Canada. Over the next six months, I'm going to give you updates every month on my progress with red light therapy, and this is update number one. For those of you who missed my introductory video about a month ago, I will pin it at the end, so no worries. You don't need to click away. You can still watch this update and at the end of the video go to the introduction and sponsorship video. Behind me we do have the door mounting kit for the panel and it's worked very well. It's been a little bit sticky but I've just been honestly too lazy to sand away some of the paint from the top of the door and the lintel. Or the top bracket will just pave its own way. That's probably what will happen. But I'm here to deliver what I've been experiencing over the last four weeks. And I gotta say, I don't want to get too excited, so I've decided to tone it down a little bit in this video and just explain some of the benefits I've been reaping. The first thing is definitely increased energy through the day. Like, I can make it through the day now without having a nap. And that, for me, is pretty substantial because I would need at least a half an hour nap at 1 o'clock every day, like 1 in the afternoon just to make it through until bedtime. It's definitely helped with my skin. Like I give myself injections into the side of my legs here for my dopamine agonist. And I've noticed those injection sites have been healing up quite quickly without like any special creams. And the biggest thing that I've struggled medication wise is the peaks and valleys of the levodopa carbidopa. Like when you're wearing off, you sometimes well, I do anyhow. I go into this big valley before the next set of meds kicks in, and then I hit a peak, and then I'm back down, and I'm up, and I'm down, and it's all day long. Since I've been on the red light, I'm experiencing more a flat line, to, and, and that is truly amazing. Like, just over four weeks, instead of these giant peaks and valleys, I'm getting a flat line effect. So my off times are greatly reduced. So my worst off time is at 10 in the morning. And that's when I take my dopamine agonist, my Movapo pen. And then I would take Movapo usually at 1, because that's when I would need to have a nap. So if I was out somewhere or doing something, I would take a shot of Movapo to make it through that 1 o'clock valley. And then if I was still active, I would have to take a Movapo shot at 4, which I usually did, because that was another time I would usually need to lay down on the couch. Like making dinner at four? <laughs> no way. But now I can make it through my one o'clock valley without a nap. And at four, I, I can get up and cook and do chores. Like I don't have to sock out for half an hour waiting for my pills to kick in. Somehow, somehow, this red light device has basically flatlined my peaks and valleys. Like the only shot now I take with my Movapo is one today. And that's at 10 a.m. But that valley isn't as deep anymore. It's almost like a little ditch. And on top of that, I've been getting dyskinesia, like violent dyskinesia, which is really unusual for me. Usually for me, dyskinesia indicates over-medication. So what I've had to do to keep the dyskinesia down, because it was starting to get quite violent, which meant, for me anyhow, I don't want to imply that everybody's Parkinson's medications work the same because we're all different. This is just based on my experience. My dyskinesia at five was getting quite violent, so I had to knock off half a pill of my levodopa carbidopa medication. And then again, it was also getting quite violent at 11 a.m. So at 10, I knocked another half pill off my levodopa carbidopa. And before anybody goes in panics, I do have free reign from my neurologist to make small adjustments to my medication so I can reduce or increase as needed. I don't know if this is an effect of the light or it's just that I do my exercise in the morning. It's just my medications in the morning seem to kick in a little bit quicker, about 10 to 15 minutes quicker. Usually they kick in around 7.30, 7.40, but it seems to have moved up about 15 to 20 minutes. So now they're kicking in like 7.20, 7.30 
which is good because I can push myself in my morning workout a little bit harder when I'm just coming on. So like I said earlier, I don't want to get everyone over excited. Right now, I'm cautiously optimistic. I, I need to see at least a couple more months of consistent results. If you're looking for your own red light system and you want to support this channel, it won't cost you anything extra to do. Please use that link to take you to the Rouge Care Canada site. We would greatly appreciate it. YouTube should be suggesting the link now that should take you to the original Rouge Care Canada sponsorship video for the red light product. And once you're done here, I'll see you over there. Thank you for taking this journey together. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.